I'm Anil Kumar and now let us learn a strategy to prove trigonometric identities. The question here is prove sin x divided by 1 plus 1 minus cos x is equals to 1 plus cos x divided by sin x. So that is what you need to prove. In such cases what should we do? We have to start from one side. Let us start from the left side. So, okay let's start from left side. Left side is equals to sin x divided by 1 minus cos x. Somehow we need 1 plus cos x in the numerator. So always see what you need to prove, right? You need to prove 1 plus cos x divided by sin x. Now easy way to get that 1 plus cos x is to multiply this expression by 1 plus cos x. Now you just can't multiply. You have to divide also by the same thing which you can do and that is as good as 1. So multiplying and dividing by the same number is perfectly fine, right? So sin x divided by 1 minus cos x, which is in the left side, is same as sin x divided by 1 minus cos x times 1 plus cos x divided by 1 plus cos x, right? So now let us expand. So we will keep the numerator as sin x times 1 plus cos x. Do you see that? And in the denominator, we'll multiply. And as you know, what is a minus b times a plus b? Now this is a very important formula which will be used so many times in proving identity. So remember, a minus b times a plus b is a square minus b square. I know some of you will just expand, simplify and in three steps get the same result. You don't have to do that. When you say a minus b times a plus b, I will recommend straight away write a square 1 square minus cos square x. Do you see that? So that is what you get. Now what is 1 minus cos square x? So what is 1 minus cos square x? Okay, so for that I hope you remember that sine square x plus cos square x is equal to 1, right? So sine square x is equals to 1 minus cos square x. So that is what we are going to apply here in the denominator. So we have 1 minus cos square x. It could be written as sine square x. Do you see that? Now you can cancel sine x, sine x and what do you get? You get 1 plus cos x over sin x which is what you want which is on your right side right so so we have proved that left side is equals to right side and therefore this is an identity i hope that helps thank you